you guys so I thought it would be cool to do a cloth diaper routine a lot of you guys since I mentioned doing cloth diapers with snow have asked me to talk about how I do it and show you how I do it now there's a ton of videos on YouTube that show you how to do this and they're probably way more experienced than I am but I thought I would just show you how I do mine because I think everyone kind of does theirs a little bit differently and I was very close to giving up on cloth diapers because we were having a lot of trouble with them but I did want to show you guys like my laundry routine what is working for us right now if you're curious about cloth diapers and want to see like kind of how they work how you wash them keep watching I'm gonna take you guys downstairs with me and we are gonna do cloth diaper laundry together we keep her cloth diaper laundry bag in the downstairs bathroom because normally where we uh, change her so this is a little laundry bag that we keep all of her cloth diapers in. There's tons of different ways that you can store the uh, dirty cloth diapers, but this is just how we do it and what's worked for us so far. Everything that I used, I'll leave it linked down below in the description or I'll um, leave it in my Amazon storefront and it's all categorized. What I do is I have to do things a little bit differently probably than most and this is a little bit more of a pain. I found that the flats and pre-folds that I was washing, so a lot of people can wash like the outside hold on let me show you there's two different zippered pockets on here and we are actually using both of them this one we put the outer parts of the diaper and then the inner parts of the diaper we put here because when we were washing them together there was a bunch of fuzz and lint getting all over the outside of the diapers is driving me crazy so it's a lot more work but for me i think this is what's best so that that lint doesn't get all over if any of you guys have better ideas of what to do let me know so to make it easy so i don't have to touch anything i literally just close that zippered part and then I will put in all of the inserts. <laughs> diaper covers I just threw in the sink here and then the inserts I just threw in here and then I have been using this laundry detergent this is the ultra power plus and this has been working well for us we also have this that will um, use up as well I don't really notice too much of a difference between either one of them this is what we use to wash our regular clothes but because this isn't the ultra power plus one I think this is better for dirty diapers how I do it and again everyone's I think diaper wash is different this is just what works for us is we do we wash these two times in a row and I fill this up a little bit under halfway and I just stick it in there And then I will just put it on normal. I will make sure it's on hot. I'll give it an extra rinse. And I like to do deep fill. I put it all the way to high. I don't know if you guys can even see that. There we go. Um, so hot, soil level is like almost close to extra heavy. And then deep fill. And then, um, yeah, extra rinse. Oh, not deep clean, we don't want that. Okay, so then I will wash those. So I will let it do this cycle and then I will do that all over again. Um, so I'll wash them twice and then I will do the same thing with this. So like I said, it's a pain in the ass. It takes freaking forever and most people don't do this. Most people wash all their diapers together. Um, but the reason I'm doing this was because of the lint situation. And since I've been washing them separately, there's no lint. So that's why I'm doing that. Another thing I quickly want to let you guys know is these diapers are like the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon. Oh, I should also mention that I hang dry these once those are done being washed and then the inserts I just throw into the dryer. These are the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon. Again, I'll leave everything linked down below if any of you guys are interested about pricing or want to buy them yourselves. She was so allergic to these and we found out that she was allergic to synthetic fabric so what we did was we took out the microfiber inserts that were in here instead of putting anything else inside the pocket we just lay three folds and flats that are 100 percent cotton right here that touch her skin and we found that to do the trick because she would get the worst rashes from cloth diapers um, and we almost gave up and we finally figured out it's not the wipes because we use water wipes it wasn't the laundry routine it was just She's allergic to synthetic fabrics, but now she doesn't get any rashes at all and she loves them. She doesn't notice a difference in them. So when that's done, I'll come back down, run it again, and then I'll do the same thing with the other one. It does take a really long time to do the laundry, but if you're at home and you don't mind doing laundry, I think it's totally fine. I really am happy that we finally have figured out a way to do cloth diapers and make them work for her. Uh, and also they're so stinking cute. Like right now, like look at her and her little outfit. 
Are you hanging? She's got her little cloth diapers on, huh? And he puts them on and like does a good job. Okay, so these have been washed twice. These are the inserts, so I'm just gonna pop these into the dryer. And I just have these balls in there. I don't do any dryer sheets or anything. I don't think you're supposed to. And then once they're all in there, I will, and I'll just dry this on normal. And then I'm gonna throw in all of these. And I throw the wet bag in there with these ones as well. And I'll just wash them the same exact way. But these ones I will hang dry. And this is about how much soap I use. Normally I throw the lid in, but this one has some sort of like ring in there and it looks like a foam ring, so I don't throw the lid in for the laundry on this. I lied. I don't do an extra rinse the first time on these, the second time I will, so, cause I feel like they don't get as dirty cause they're really just the outer liner, so. Okay. So so we're gonna check this because sometimes it's not completely dry because sometimes these will take a little bit longer to dry. Um, and I'll go over what all these are in a second. But those actually feel pretty dry, so that's good. And then I'm going to wash this for a second time. I try not to use too much laundry detergent because I heard if you do, your diapers can get like build up, like a, a detergent build up, and you don't want that because that can cause like rashes and problems and stuff. I always try to use as little as possible and always make sure to do an extra rinse. So on this cycle, I'll do normal and then I'll do extra rinse. Just make sure I get all the detergent out really well. So we're gonna let that finish being washed. Put this away. Okay, so I'm just going to take the dried inserts and put them in this little basket to take them upstairs. I've been obsessed with baskets lately. I've been getting all of them from the thrift store. They're really actually useful, like really useful. I've been using them for so many things and I kind of developed an obsession and I wanna just start collecting baskets from the thrift stores. This is already done, this had two washes, so I'm going to hang dry these and I'll show you how I do that. Also, can we just appreciate like how well made this basket is? It looks so expensive, such high quality, and I think I got it for like four dollars at the local like Salvation Army or Goodwill. They always have such great baskets. So now I'm just going to take these up, and I don't put these in the dryer. And if you know about cloth diapers, it's because they have elastic in them, and if you want to preserve the elastic, you don't want to put it in the dryer because it could ruin it. So that's why people hang dry these and I'll show you how I hang dry it. This is what I use to hang dry or line dry my cloth diapers and the reason it's inside and not outside and on top of a table is because one, our little baby over there, oh my gosh, this is goals. Dad goals, 2020. Multitasking. Oh, she hears my voice. Uh -oh. Our baby likes to pull this down, so we have to put it on top of a table and it's a little chilly outside and as you can see on our balcony, we don't really have much sun and it's warmer in the house so it actually dries better. So um, I just got this on Amazon and Hi, Sammy. Hi, do you want to help Mama? You want to help me? Here you go. She's so tall, she can literally reach and grab everything up higher now. I know. Hi, sweetheart. Hey. Hi, baby. Here, duck. here, you can film me and I'll hold her while I do this. Come here, sweetie. Mommy, hold you. Give me some love. Okay, so I'm showing them how I dry your diapers. Is that okay? You want to help me? 
I can just take these and I was told to dry them like this because it's better for the elastic as opposed to doing it like this, which is what I was doing before because it takes up less space and it's just easier. But I mean, I'll probably only have, I don't know, two kids, so. but um, I don't really have space to do them all like this. So I'll just like do them a couple of them and then go from there. I just hang them up like that and then I will wait till these are dry and then I'll show you how I put these into the diaper and like kind of how it works. what you see here is snow's whole cloth diaper collection she has a total of 25 cloth diapers majority of them are the alva baby brand the only reason i got those are because they were the cheapest ones on amazon so depending on your budget i wouldn't necessarily recommend these and i can tell you why um one of the reasons being if she hasn't even used these that long let me see if i'll be able to get a close-up so you can actually tell but do you see all the pilling on this diaper already that's why i wash them separately because there was so much of this little like fuzz stuff just getting everywhere this was the other brand of diaper that we got all of it came from amazon and it is working for us i do wish we had a few more cloth diapers because i think you're supposed to have around 36 is what they say but we end up running out of diapers and so we have to use disposables in between. So I am hoping to get a few more eventually, but I'm doing my no buy for January. So uh, I won't be getting them this month. Right now, you know, we're making do with what we have. I really do love the cloth diapers now, and I'm gonna show you how I uh, use them. So I don't know if you guys have been like on our cloth diaper journey, but <laughs> whoa, it's been a journey. I gave up a few times, one, because we were traveling, and two, because we didn't have a washer and dryer when we were in the motorhome, but also she would get terrible rashes, you guys, every time we put her in a cloth diaper. To be fair, she also got really bad rashes when we put her in regular disposable diapers. There was only one diaper, um, like disposable diaper, that we found that actually worked that she didn't get a rash from, and that was just Target's generic diapers. I think it's like Up and Up brand or something like that. We'll use those for disposables. We're traveling or we run out of diapers because we don't have that many cloth diapers, I mean. Even if I put this 100% um, insert inside, like, because these are the pocket diapers, I don't know if I mentioned that or not. They're all pocket diapers. How it works is these actually come like when you buy them with a microfiber insert. And microfiber you cannot put against the baby's skin. It's really bad. It wicks away all the moisture. It will give them a really bad rash. The microfiber would go inside of this little pocket. This would go right up against her skin. And even without the microfiber insert inside here, we tried doing 100% cotton inside of the pocket and she still got horrible rashes within a day we would notice it i think it's just this fabric and anything synthetic on her she's extremely sensitive to and she gets a really bad rash so how we made it work with the diapers we already had instead of going out and buying all new brand new diapers a lot of the other diapers are really pricey especially the good quality ones that are not made with synthetic fabrics what we did was we bought these, um, I believe these are called pre-folds and I'll put links to all this stuff down below, but I really like these ones. I'm gonna quickly just show you guys how I put a cloth diaper together. I, again, just used the pocket diapers. These were, again, the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon. In the diaper, these ones are too long for my diaper. As you could see, they like go off the edge. So I just fold them in. And then what I'll, I hope you guys can see this. Uh, I just take these little flaps and I stick it around this part of the diaper and then I will fold up this part so it's like that and then I personally like to store them to be used or whatever I like to store them already like this so that when I'm ready for a diaper I could just open it up and stick it on her um, and also it just looks really aesthetically pleasing like in the drawer the way that I store them it makes me happy so yeah, that's kind of how I do my diapers. And I'll just do it like when I'm watching TV or just like hanging out and have some free time. It's actually kind of like fun for me to do. I really love cloth diapers. 
So before I put the diapers together, I do like to just clean whatever surface I'm putting them on because they do go right up against her. I went to Target and bought these flats and I also bought pre-folds from Target and they were horrible. I would not recommend them at all. She always gets leaks, um, but we are just using these until we have new ones come in. So this is an example of one of the flats and they might have better ones elsewhere. I just would not recommend getting the ones from Target. These were like the 100% organic cotton ones and we've been using them and they're horrible. Like she literally leaks every time. But that's how, uh, if you do get a flat and it's good quality, that's kind of how you put them together. So I just wanted to show that because there are so many different types of cloth diapers. There's all-in-ones um, where you don't have to do any of the insert stuff. It just kind of is all together and sewed in together. Um, those are probably the most convenient ones. And then there are the pocket ones like I'm showing you now. There's so many different ones. It can kind of get a little bit overwhelming. They also have just regular cover diapers that are waterproof. Um, and then you'd put the insert in like you're seeing now. So if you were to get you know, these like cotton prefolds or flats, you would put that inside. So it might be a little confusing, but if you do do a little bit of research, you can kind of quickly teach yourself the different types of diapers there are and then find whatever is best for your family. I've been in your waters Been knocking at your door I know one thing for sure I've never been so close before drawers down here and we found that this is the best place to store them oh. <laughs> all right well she's gonna help me put the diapers away but we just store them like that in here and we found with the amount of diapers that we have both of these drawers store them oh here's an extra diaper oh are you helping mom thank you wow you're such a good helper i like to color coordinate them too because i think it just looks pretty oh yep they go in just like that good job snow good girl she's so smart you're so smart oh my gosh you <laughs> good job good girl honey <laughs> Ooh, beautiful Beautiful. All right, let's show them the top one. Let's show them this one. Beautiful. <laughs> so these drawers actually fit quite a few diapers. Um, and then we just take her wipes and we can fit them in right here. Uh, I do want to start making our own wipes. So I'll probably be doing that. Maybe even reusable ones, we'll see. <laughs> but that's how I store her diapers. I feel with cloth diapers, you can get a little overwhelmed because there's so much to learn when you are brand new to them. But if you guys are curious and wanna see more cloth diaper videos, like how I put them on, um, I am gonna show you really quick though. This is a poopy diaper. I just threw the wipe in the trash because the wipes we have are not flushable in the toilet. And just a side note, if you have a breastfed newborn that's strictly breastfed, you can actually put the poopy diapers in the wash. But once they start eating solids, you have to plop the poop into the toilet or spray it off or get it off however you choose. There's a lot of different ways to do it, whatever is easiest for you. So I just plop the poop in. It's most of the time her poop's easy just to plop in the toilet. And then I flush it and then I throw the wet diaper into the wet bag. And this was before I started separating it. Um, I filmed this video, so that's why you see me putting the whole diaper in just the one pocket. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this. If you want to see more cloth diaper videos, please let me know. Any any questions that you might have that I might have missed, let me know down in the comments if you guys are curious and want to see more. Um, I hope this video helped you in some way. Thank you again so much for watching. I know you have a choice to watch a thousand videos um, on YouTube, like a thousand other videos, I mean. And the fact that you chose to um, watch mine's really means a lot to me. Thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. Thank you again. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah!